This ordinance wouldn't apply solely to cell phone towers. Rather, it would require that nearby property owners get notified when a right-of-way, like a sidewalk, will be used uh -huh. for private purposes. Amid the decorative lighting and landscaping in historic Dundee, neighbors say a small cell tower popped up on the sidewalk last month. Well, I was quite surprised. Molly Romero owns Mark's Pantry and Bottle Shop. She's also on the board of the Dundee Merchant Association and the Business Improvement District. Romero says those groups came together on a $2.5 million streetscaping project along Underwood Avenue, and they work hard to maintain it. If we start filling it full of cell towers, Ugly. In addition, she says the tower tore up the sidewalk. She wishes it could have gone in a more discreet spot. The placement of this one, it could be better. This isn't the first small cell tower to cause waves. One went up in the middle of the sidewalk near 55th and Poppleton earlier this year. Neighbors weren't happy and the sidewalk has since been re-poured around the tower. But city council members hope to avoid future surprises in right-of-ways like sidewalks. So the new ordinance would require there be notification of adjacent property owners of any private use, including a small cell tower like these. So that, that conversation can happen up front. It isn't an after the fact concern we're expressing. City Council President Pete Festerson and Council Member Danny Begley are working on the ordinance together after seeing these towers in their districts. Have the communication companies communicate because they're putting these 5G towers in, which is great for our kids and us for technology, people working from home now. But they got to communicate to people that are our constituents. Romero thinks that would go a long way. It could definitely have been done better with a little bit of communication. Verizon, which has installed some of those small cell towers, says it is aware of the proposed requirement and, quote, continues to coordinate with both city council members and city staff to identify a path forward that responds to local officials and their constituents while ensuring that requirements are not overly burdensome and hinder our ability to invest in our network and provide excellent service for Omaha residents. Reporting live tonight, Alexandra Stone, KETV, Newswatch 7.